my way in all these for the first time, y'all. Oh, we got to pay for a cart. Put it in there. Let's get it. Here we go, y'all. Spring mix for three fifty nine organic. Maybe arugula dollar eighty nine. Just bought hummus. That's a big apple. Goodness, look at this bread. Hi guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the second part of my Aldi, uh, my first trip to Aldi. I had a um, subscriber mention Aldi to me and I ride by there daily and I decided today I'm going to go in. So. I went inside and I have my receipts. I was able to grab um, a few cans of corn, which is my favorite. Um, I got three cans of that. Those were t those were thirty five cents. Huh? I gotta go back and get some more of those. <laughs> anyway, those were thirty five cents each. Um, so I also picked up these macaroni and beef. Um, pastas in the can and those are showing up as 59 cents each the macaroni and beef 59 cents each um, I picked up the corned beef the corned beef is 2.95 oops 2.95 a can expires in 2025 well, it's on that on the top 2025 which I'm impressed with for 2.99 um, I haven't bought Vienna sausage in a long time um, I remember having some on the grill one time with some barbecue sauce, and they were really good. So I grabbed four cans of those, um, just kind of to keep them in the pantry. Those were forty-two cents a piece. I also picked up this thick-cut pepperoni. Um, these were four ninety-nine a bag, and those are one pound each. I grabbed two of those, and 
I'm going to pick this up. I got you guys on the tripods. So I don't shake you to death, but um, as you can see back there, I grabbed like every flavor of the Idahoan potatoes. I am a big fan. I don't like the plain ones. I don't like to have to see how much salt is required. Just trick me. Put it in the sodium count. I won't read it. I'll just eat it. Um, but these are so good. Those were $1.25 each. Like I said, I grabbed all the flavors. I also picked up these salsas. The salsas on the next receipt. Mild salsa, 89 cents a jar. And those are 24 ounce jars. I grabbed one mild, I mean one medium and two miles of that. And then I also picked up a couple of bags of the chips. The chips were 89 cents. So I grabbed four bags of those. I love salsa and chips. Um, this is this was a, a good buy. This is these were two ninety nine. These canned hams. This is a pound of ham. I heard they were really good. Um, premium ham. They expire in twenty twenty five, and they were two ninety nine a can. I grabbed two cans. I'm gonna go back in a, a few minutes and grab a couple more cans of those just for long term storage. Um, I don't eat pork, but I will eat ham when the shit hits the fan. So um, I grabbed this for you know who. He'll eat anything. And it's fully cooked and the shelf stable until you open it. So I figured I'd keep that. That uh, bacon was... Bacon. So weird seeing bacon. Okay, the fully cooked bacon is two forty six. I grabbed also um, a box of whole wheat spaghetti. I've never tried it. I've heard of great things about it. I'm going to try that. That was $0.88. Cents. And the last of this part of the haul from Aldi, I, I didn't need cookies, but when I saw my last name on the cookies, <laughs> I said, hey, let's try them. They might be cousins. Um, but yeah, that's my last name on those cookies, so I grabbed two packs of the cookies to stick in the junk food section, and those cookies were 99 cents. The fudge marshmallows were $1.79. Hmm, I didn't notice that, but anyway, oh, I also, let me grab real quick, I picked up, hate opening this, ref opening this refrigerator because it'll start humming again, but um, I picked up a container of the mixed greens, those were $1.89 also at Aldi, I love those, so I think that's it for Aldi right now, I, like I said, I'm going to go back and grab a couple more of those hams, I'm going to grab a couple more of the um, corned beef and a few more or a bunch more of the Vienna sausage. Maybe more of the salsa. No more potatoes. My potato stash, <laughs> my potato stash is legit. So that's it for this. I hope you guys liked it. If you enjoyed it, click like. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I appreciate you all being here and thank you so much for being so sweet in the comment section. Uh, stay tuned for the next couple of hauls. I have a couple of them in store for you and a house update.